The same level of commitment you have to trying to let go and move on after that breakup is the same that your ex is making. Except if they're used to being with a person who always reaches out, wants to talk, wants to work on things, then they have an expectation that you'll be the person you've always shown them you are. Because a good indicator of future behavior is past behavior. So when you elect to not do a damn thing, go no contact, show your strength through silence, and working on yourself, it's not that your ex don't care, it's that they don't believe you. And if they care enough, if enough time has passed, if they haven't already jumped into a new rebound relationship, that silence you elected for causes for a conflict of feeling. On one hand, they wonder what you're up to, who you're up to it with, and why exactly is this change in your behavior? And it's funny because the further away you get from that relationship, the more you realize that you actually might be settling for your ex, for their baggage, for their lack of communication, the way that they treated you, when you were at your best and your worst. So keep silent. Allow your strength to show through. Not for they ass though, for you, for your growth, for your moving on and letting go. I mean, you owe it to yourself, right?